Hey everybody, Erica here. I've got Makui hanging out. And for today's vlog, I wanted to talk about something that's kind of hot in the news right now. Um, with the recent uh, sightings in Colorado of some single wolves, there's been a new topic brought up that is a big concern to a lot of people. And this is the hydated disease. So I wanted to talk about this a little bit and hopefully calm those concerns. So first of all, the high dated disease is a potentially uh, harmful, sometimes fatal disease caused by cysts that house the larval forms of the tapeworm echinococcus. So this disease is caused by the tapeworms. The tapeworms can be carried through various hosts, including your canids, your felines, a lot of your ungulate species, and some others as well. Now, this is not a new disease to the United States. It's not a new disease to Colorado. This is actually present in just about every state. Now, the concern is that wolves are going to pass this disease on to humans. So wolves will or can carry the tapeworm and then when that tapeworm exits there in their scat, if a human were to eat their scat, they could pick up that tapeworm, which would then start to grow in the human and the eggs of the tapeworm would cause disease. But who's going to eat wolf poop? I hope nobody. Um, this is the very most likely way that you would ever get this disease is literally by eating poop of an infected animal. Now, uh, there have been some statements that if there is infected scat out in the wild and you were to drive across it, that it could actually aerosolize the tapeworm eggs and you could then inhale those eggs and get the disease. Uh, I have done a lot of research on this and I cannot find anything that supports this idea. So uh, tapeworm eggs measure about one millimeter. You can actually see that with the naked eye. So I don't understand how it would be possible for these to be aerosolized and inhaled. Uh, that's actually pretty heavy compared to air. So I think this is pretty unlikely. So the other thing is a lot of your wolf biologists and researchers who have been working with wolves, a lot of them up in the Yellowstone region, they have spent how many years with these animals, uh, not necessarily with these animals, but working in their areas, collecting fecal samples, uh, going into their dens and things like that. None of these people have ever contracted this high dated disease. So again, these people come in close proximity to the same things that the wolves do and they haven't gotten it. Again, so. this is not a new thing. So whether or not wolves that are coming here have this disease isn't a big deal. This disease is already in Colorado. It could already be carried in our ungulate species that are here. It could also be carried in some of our other canid species like coyotes and foxes. But in the ent entire United States, there's only about five cases every year. And uh, less than one, uh, one case uh, in a million people in the United States. So again, the concern is very minimal with this disease and it's not just wolves. So let's not blame that on the wolves. Uh, there are plenty of other animals out there that have the same likelihood of carrying this disease. They all spread it the same way, which again, I will emphasize is in their scat. So as long as you are number one, not eating poop in the woods, you're safe. Uh, and number two, don't eat dirt. <laughs> um, because it could possibly be in dirt that once had that infected scat in it. But as long as you are clean and you're washing your hands when you are out camping, or if you take your dog hiking, um, and just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. And again, it's very unlikely that this is going to become any more of a problem than it already is, which is very minimal. 
So hopefully uh, that helps you guys understand this disease a little bit better and uh, decreases, if not eliminates, the concern. If you do have any other questions about this or any of the current wolf sightings, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next vlog.